What is up guys, it is me Max back again with another guitar tutorial and today we are going to take a look at Louis Capaldi, Someone You Loved. Beautiful song, very heart-wrenching, tear-jerking, but also super easy to play on guitar as well because we've only got one riff throughout the entire song except for that teeny tiny little bridge section which consists of chords we already use in the song so nothing too crazy there and what we need in the song is a capo on the first fret otherwise you can play it without the capo obviously you can do the power chord version i'll tell you guys what the chords are obviously they are going to be the sharp versions of those standard chords and if you want to sing along to it, you can obviously do that without the capo half a step down as well. So without any further ado, let's jump into the song. The first thing we are going to do right now is taking a look at the chords we need in this song. And there aren't too many of them and they're standard chords. Obviously shift it up half a step, but because of that capo, we don't have to do anything unusual finger positioning wise. And one quick warning before getting started. I put new strings on my guitar like two days ago and it's still kind of settling. So if it falls out of tune in the midst of recording this video, don't get too worked up about it. I tune it right before recording, but that's all I can do right now. So let's jump in. The first chord we need is a C. Well, technically it's a C sharp, but we need the C position. So we put our first finger onto the second fret on the second string second finger onto the third fret on the fourth string and third finger onto the fourth fret on the fifth string. Now we have to mute the sixth string. We can either do that by touching the sixth string right here with our third finger like that. Or what I prefer to do is I wrap my thumb around the top of our guitar neck here and just slightly touch the sixth string, the lower E string obviously. And by doing that, we get that beautiful C sharp. The next chord is a G. So we jump from here over to here. We've now got our first finger on the third fret on the fifth string, second finger on the fourth fret on the sixth string, and third finger on the fourth fret on the first string. We don't have to mute anything. It's just a G sharp. So we've got the C, the G sharp, obviously, and okay, I'm gonna stop doing that right now. I'm just, I'm just gonna call them A sharp minor because that is our third chord. We go from that G position onto an A minor position, meaning we put our first finger onto the second fret on the second string, second finger onto the third fret on the fourth string and third finger onto the third fret on the third string. And once again, we have to mute the sixth string. So we use our thumb up here, wrap it around, touch the sixth string and go down once. So we've got the C sharp, the G sharp, A sharp minor, and there's one more missing, F sharp. So we go from that A sharp minor over to here, so not the hardest of switches. We've got our first finger on the first and second string now on the second fret, second finger on the third fret on the third string, third finger on the fourth fret on the fifth string, and pinky on the fourth fret on the fourth string. And now, once again, thumb up here, muting the lower E string. And that is the F. We could play like this as well, including the lower E string by doing a bar chord-ish thing with our first finger here, just put it across all six strings, second, third finger and pinky stay exactly where they are. But I think it's easier to switch from here onto that C because it's just moving each finger very, very slightly, the third finger not even at all and doing this switch is a lot more work. So what do we do with those chords? You could just drum down once on each of them, let it ring and just, you know, sing along with it or whatever your heart wants you to do. And what we could do, which spices it up like a little bit, but it's just as easy as strumming down eight times down and up on each of those chords. So we just go 
eight times on the C sharp, eight times on the G, eight times on the A sharp minor, and eight times on the F sharp. It's raining heavily outside. I hope that doesn't really disturb the audio quality as much. And yeah, aside from that, that is pretty much the entire song. The only thing left to take a look at is that little bridge. And in that bridge, we've actually got one new chord, which is a D sharp minor. We take our first finger, put it onto the first fret, or well, second fret on the first string. Second finger onto the third fret on the third string and third finger onto the fourth fret on the second string. And now we have to mute both the sixth and the fifth string. So we wrap our thumb around even further in order to mute them both. And what we do is we just go eight times down and up on that D sharp minor. Then we jump onto the A sharp minor and do that eight times as well. So the D sharp minor, the A sharp minor, a G sharp, A times, and then four additional times, and switch immediately back onto that A sharp minor four times as well. And then we start on that D sharp minor again. So we go. sharp minor eight times, the A sharp minor eight times, the G sharp eight times, and then one last down. That is the entire bridge and that is the entire song. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If so, drop it a thumbs up, helps me out more than you might think. And if you haven't done so already and are new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button somewhere down there, as well as my Instagram account, which is somewhere down there as well. And yeah, that's it for today. And as always, I hope that I will see you guys next time.